You want to close your eyes for prayer? Father, in the name of Jesus, we glorify you tonight. We we'll see you today, we we'll see miracle. We we'll touch you today, we we'll touch miracle. We we'll pray to you today, we we'll possess miracle. Something great, something marvelous happening to everyone. Confirm each and every life in Jesus' name. Lord, the faith that works, the faith that comes alive, the faith that cannot fail, the faith that drives in a miracle, express way to miracle, no hold up, no traffic jam, today, 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 let that miracle come upon every soul in Jesus name. Find your power in every life. Thank you because we know you have answered. In Jesus' name we pray. Surely can give me a greater amen. God bless you. Wonderful. The word of God upon your life tonight. Ah, you, you lost an amen over there. I'm looking at Hebrews chapter 11. And I'm reading to you from verse 4. You know, when you look at Hebrews chapter 11, and as you open it from verse 1, it says, Now face. That's what now. That tells us at this time, on this day, and for you over there, faith is going to work in your life. There are some things that come and go. There are some things you saw last time. You don't see them today. There are some things old people spoke about. And young people don't speak about you today. There are some things old men spoke about. The patriarchs of old. The people of old. The prophets of old. And the people that had problems in the past. There were things they spoke about. We don't talk about them anymore. But there is something peculiar about faith. It was at that time. And it is at, that, at this time. And it will be there tomorrow. That's why it says now face. And then it says face is. It is not was. It used to be. And it is no more. It says now face. And today faith will come in your heart. Because faith comes by hearing. And hearing by the word of God. And when that face arrives, somebody there, that faith will arrive. Somebody there, that faith will come. And somebody there, the faith will pierce your life. It will come in your soul. It will come in your mind. It will come in your spirit. And when that face arrives, something you never saw before, something you never experienced before, it will happen tonight. Somebody there said it will happen tonight. Because faith is it is the substance of things hoped for. And it is the evidence of things not seen. And it is the faith I'm talking about tonight. Come to us for now. By faith, Abel. That's enough. By faith, Abel is telling us whatever Abel became and whatever you are going to become is going to be by faith. Not by unbelief. Not by doubt. Not by crying. Not by rolling on the ground. By faith, Abel. And by you tonight, Abel, you are going to have faith. That 
Faith will work in a dynamic way in your life. And then it comes, it goes on and on and on and on. And it comes to verse 39. And it says, all these having obtained a good report through faith. It's coming from the very beginning. And he talks about faith. And it comes to the very end. And he says everyone. And anyone. The problems are going to be solved. If the power is going to come. If the sickness is going to be healed. If miracle is going to come. If salvation is going to come to your soul. If you are going to receive the blessing of heaven, it begins by faith. It goes on by faith. And it ends by faith. I want to talk to you tonight. And after the talk, we will pray. I will pray. You will pray. We will pray. And when my prayer, your prayer, when they come together, there will be an explosion of miracle. I'm talking on the wonders of faith. The wonders of faith. You know, if you're looking for signs and wonders, it's based on faith. If you're looking for the supernatural, it's based on faith. If you're looking for problems to be solved, it's based on faith. If you're waiting for salvation, it's based on faith. Faith. If you are waiting for the supernatural encounter, it's based on faith. If you are waiting for the broom of heaven to come and sweep away all the cobweb of the devil in your life, in your family, is by faith. And it says, by faith. Abel. As we talk about faith, faith in Christ. As we talk about faith, faith in the blood of the Lamb. As we talk about faith, faith in the name of Jesus. The name above every name. The name above your cancer. The name above your tuberculosis. The name above your deafness. The name above your paralysis. The name above the yoke in your life. The name above the problem in your life. Every curse is cancelled tonight from your life. Faith in the name of Jesus. The name that works wonders. The name that saves. The name that heals. And the faith that delivers. And the faith that sets you free. Faith in Christ. Faith in his blood. Faith in his name. We look up to him. To see Christ is central. Look up here. And you look at Christ standing here. Those who are on this side, they're looking towards Christ. And those who are on this side, they're looking directly at Christ. And those who are on this side, they're looking in this direction with Christ. What does that mean? What it means is this. Christ came before he came, the people who are over here, like Abel, like Abraham, like Sarah, like Joseph, like Caleb, like Joshua, they were looking at this side, looking at the Christ who is to come. How did they know he was coming? Because God said, the siege of the woman. If I need to cry, Christ will bruise the head of the devil. And so over here, 
year from generation unto us a child is born unto us a son is given the government shall be upon his shoulder and his name will be called wonderful the mighty God the everlasting father the prince of peace he will be called Emmanuel that's all these people here looking up to him here and then he came he was born in Bethlehem he came he was raised in Nazareth he came he went throughout Galilee he came and he went to Capernaum and the people that were living at the time when he came they were looking at him directly those people over there before Christ came expectation they were expecting and they were looking at him at the time when he came they saw him face to face they touched him he touched them he opened their blind eyes he raised the dead he healed the sick he forgave their sins experience those other people here before Christ came they looked up to him in expectation the people that lived at the time he came they had experience he died he was buried he rose again he went to heaven before he went to heaven he says I give my name unto you that whatsoever you ask in that name and you ask the father he will do it for you now he is gone we are the people on this side we turn around and we are looking at him now what do we look for remember the people who are on this side yesterday expectation the people People who were directly when he came to the world today that's experience and the people that on the side were living after he has died and were living after he was buried were living after he rose from the dead were living after he went to heaven we live on his name we live on his power we live on his authority but we're looking from this side and looking at him because he died 2000 years ago exploits exploits now we're going to have exploits today expectation from that side experience from this side exploits from the other side that's why the bible says in, a, in a hebrews chapter 13 verse 8 jesus christ the same yesterday those people today these people and tomorrow is forever the same and what you did before is going to be in your life today you are in for a miracle there's no way you can escape miracles tonight miracle coming your way miracle coming to your side because we're talking about the wonders of Faith. I'm going to divide the message to three parts. Number one, the redemptive faith of Abel. The redemptive faith of Abel. Number two, the restorative faith of all others. The restorative faith of all others. You are there. Restoration has come. You are there. The peace of God has come. Whatever you have lost. And you are wondering. Look at my life. Look at the sorrow. Look at the problem. Joy has come. I said joy has come. 
What is the person I'm talking about and, there? And you will rejoice tonight. The restorative phase of all others. Number three. The regenerative phase of Zacchaeus. From Abel to Zacchaeus. Number one. We're looking at the redemptive phase of Abel. I'm reading to you once again from Hebrews chapter 11. And I'm reading from verse 4. By faith, Abel offered unto God a more excellent sacrifice than Cain. By which he obtained witness that he was righteous. God testifying of his gifts and by each he being dead yet speaketh. Now you remember Adam and Eve. You remember God created them. Adam did not have a father or a mother as lay here. Adam did not have father, mother on the earth over here. They were not born like you were born. They didn't arrive into the world like you arrived in the world. But all the other people that came into the world, everybody that arrived in the world was born of a woman. Cain was born of a woman. Abel was born born of a woman. There is something peculiar about anybody that is born of a woman. Abel, Abel, Cain, yourself, myself, everybody in the world, the white, the black, the brown, Africans, Asians, Americans, America, Asia. Everybody, except Adam and Eve. What's the peculiarity of anyone that is born of a woman? We're looking at Psalm 51. As you look at Psalm 51, reading at verse 5, it says in this Psalm 51 verse 5, Behold, I was shapen in iniquity, and in sin did my mother conceive me. You think a fable, you think about yourself. I was shaped in iniquity. Adam and Eve had fallen. Adam and Eve had sinned. Adam and Eve had disobeyed God. Adam and Eve came out of the Garden of Eden. And they were told that they were not Adam and Eve came out of the Garden of Eden. Adam and Eve were not Adam and Eve were excommunicated out of the Garden of Eden. Adam and Eve were not Adam and Eve were excommunicated out of the Garden of Eden. It was in exile. New Ilya Jeji. Outside the Garden. New Odey Oba. No. That Cain was born. That Abel was born. That Abel was born. Outside the Garden of Eden. New Odey Oba. That's where you are. And because of that peculiarity, it says, I was shaped in iniquity. And the sin did my mother conceive me. Psalm 58, verse 3. Psalm 58, verse 3. The wicked are estranged from the womb. They go astray as soon as they be born. Speaking lies. It's telling us that when you arrived in this world, and when Abel arrived in this world, he arrived with something in the heart. He arrived with sin in the heart. Have you noticed that little girl? Have you noticed that little boy? Nobody teaches anybody how to tell a lie. Nobody teaches how to pretend. Nobody teaches how to be hypocritical. There is no cause of studies for disobedience. They go astray as soon as they are born. As soon as Abel was born. As soon as you were born. You went astray. When you say he came from the womb. 
known. And you were telling lies. Look at Isaiah chapter 48. I'm reading here from verse 8. Isaiah chapter 48, verse 8. Yea, thou hadest not ye, thou knewest not ye from the time that thine ears was not open, for I knew that thou wouldest deal very treacherously and was called a transgressor from the womb. Lo, to, he walk up, lo, to, he walk up, man, lo, to, let he go, no, eti he reko si, ni to di ti e mi man pe, he won hu wa reke reke, gidi gidi, li a hun fin pe o li, o lu reko je la ti no wa. From the womb he was called a transgressor. La ti no, la ti pe o ni o lu reko je. Nobody can say this is how I am. Kose nito se kwen e bi mo se di ni. I am all right. E mi se de de. You are not all right. La la o mbo bo se de de. From the womb you are a liar. La ti no lo ti je o From the womb you are a sinner. La ti no lo ti je e le se. You were born in sin. A bi o keke bi e le se. You were born in evil. A bi o sinu i bi. And it says your name was transgressor oh, from the womb. Oh, so oh, that's, so what, that's what happened to Abel. Oh, to Abel and Abel Abel began to realize I need something because I feel guilty. I feel condemned. Since I was born, there is something in me that is going the wrong direction. And because of that, something must happen. In his own strength, he couldn't do it. In your own strength, you cannot do it. Religion cannot do it. Five self-discipline cannot do it. Going to drink River Jordan cannot do it. And going to Jerusalem cannot do it. And going to a particular denomination cannot do it. And burning candle cannot do it. And burning incense cannot do it. And giving money to the beggars cannot do it. Could my tears forever flow. And my seal no respite no. All these for sin cannot attend. Too. Thou and thou alone must say He needed redemption All that he tried He couldn't make it Because nobody can make it Everybody is guilty Everybody is condemned Anyone that is born of a woman Arrived into this world In sin Look at Job chapter 14 Job chapter 14 14. I'm reading from verse 4. Job chapter 14 verse 4. Who can bring a clean sin out of an unclean not one? Adam had sinned. Adam he was unclean. He had sinned. She was unclean. Uncleanness met with uncleanness. The guilty man met with the guilty woman. The sinful man met with the sinful woman. And there came Cain. And here came Abel. Who can bring a clean sin out of an unclean? Not one. Abel felt the guilt. He felt the condemnation. He felt the uncleanness. He said, what can wash my sin away? What can take my guilt away? What can take my condemnation away? If this condemnation remains there, where will I spend eternity? That's when he remembered what he had heard. Faith comment by hearing, hearing by the word of God that God had killed an animal. Waiting for the time when the great lamp of God will come. And God had closed them with the skin of the animal. 
That's why he brought the sacrifice. He said, this will be my sacrifice. This will be my sin bearer. See, this will be my substitute. This will be my savior. Savior from the guilt. Savior from the condemnation. He was looking forward. Expectation. He was looking forward to the time when the seed of the woman shall come. And he will bruise the head of the devil. Today, Jesus has come for you. Somebody there said, Jesus has come for you. You were born of a woman. Am I right? I said, You were born of a woman. Are you born of an angel? Anybody there? Born of a woman. Are you there? Born of a woman. Are you there? What are you? Uh -huh. That's why you are a sinner. That's why you are a liar. That's why you are a transgressor. It's, it's the nature. It's the nature. It's the heart. It's what you came to the world with. But thank God Jesus has come. Thank God Savior has come. Thank God Redeemer has come. Thank God your sacrifice has come. Thank God your sin bearer has come. Thank God your substitute has come. Tonight, the door of salvation is open to you. That's why I said, I am the way. I am the truth. I am the life. Anybody coming to the Father, it will come by me. He says, I am I'm the door. And the door is open tonight. The door of mercy is open to you tonight. And the door of salvation is open to you tonight. And the door of the salvation redemption of the Lord is open to you tonight. And so he offered that sacrifice. He was looking forward. There was somebody. He was right at that time. Yesterday. Yesterday. That's Abel. Abel. Today, Loni. look at the man on the cross. Just today, Loni. this one is not yesterday. Ele, yes, no this no. one is not tomorrow. Ele, is Lord today, Loni. he was dying on the cross. Oh, cool, he felt guilty. Oh, he no felt no. condemned. Oh, I, I will die. Oh, no. If I die today, no. where will I be? No. The sin I've been carrying since I was born. No. I've been a transgressor since I was born. And here I'm going to die today. All of a sudden, look at Jesus. Look at Jesus. He's dying for you. He's a sacrifice. He's a substitute. He's a sin bearer. He is your savior. He looked at him. Not like Abel looking from afar. Not like Abel looking from yesterday today and so he prayed God will answer your prayer today somebody there said God will answer your prayer today he said Lord he called him Lord he called him Savior he called him Master he said you are my King he said you are my Lord he said Lord remember me when you get your kingdom Jesus said. Jesus sit down. And Jesus said. Jesus sit down. The first word he mentioned. He said today. Everybody shouts today. Today. Thou shall be with me in paradise. He got an experience. Yesterday. Abel was looking up to the seed of the woman to come. And he was with expectation. And the Lord made him righteous. And the Lord forgave him. The seed from the cross. Today, you won't be with me in paradise. He had an experience. Here we are today. You're not on the cross now to die. But I've told you the story. You've read the story yourself. And it's about Jesus that came. About Jesus that died. And we're looking at him from this place now to the other side. You know the other people? They live in BC. 
That is before Christ, before Christ BC. And when we write their date, they say, we we'll write the date and say BC. They were looking this direction with expectation. And today, when we write our date, it's now AD. It's Latin, but the English meaning is after his death. And after he has died for us, now we're AD. I we're looking this direction. I look and I see Jesus tonight. Somebody there, I look, I see Jesus tonight. Somebody there, I look, I see your Savior tonight. Somebody there, I look and see your Redeemer tonight. Somebody there, I see your Healer tonight. AD, after his death, now that we look at him, that death will work for you today. And the same redemption that Abel had, you will have it in Jesus' name. May the sacrifice by faith. You hold on to Christ. Our Savior. By faith. You hold on to Christ. Our Redeemer. By faith. And your faith will bring that redemption tonight in Jesus' name. Point number two. Point number two. It's the restorative phase of all others. What does that mean of all others? Have you, have you read Hebrews chapter 11? So By faith. Abraham. Abraham believed God. Abraham believed God. those things would be not as though they were. There was no child. And yet God promised him. And he said, by this time next year, you'll have a child. It was an impossible situation. Because Abraham was old. And Sarah was old. But he looked not at things that are seen. But he looked at things that were not seen. And by faith, Abraham. Abraham tonight, as you have that faith of Abraham, and you can do this would be not as though they were. The healing would be not as though they were. The deliverance would be not as though they were. The miracle children that be not as though they were. The breakthrough that be not as though they were. You will carry miracle home. By faith, Abraham. By faith, Bartimaeus. Bartimaeus was a blind man. He could not see. But he saw people that were going. He had people that were going. And he said, what's that? What's that? He said, it's Jesus. But he just began to cry out. Thou son of David, have mercy on me. And he stopped. Your prayer will stop Jesus tonight. Your prayer will arrest the, time, the power of Jesus tonight. What do you want me to do unto you? That my eyes may be opened. And he said, receive. And the eyes were opened. Blind man, your eyes will open tonight. Lame people, your lameness will vanish away tonight. He got it. Abraham Batimios, he got it. Have you heard of Caleb? When all the other people said, we cannot go on. I cannot go to the land of promise. Oh, Caleb said, we can. But God on our side. The possibilities will be possible. With God on our side. All those giants against your life. The giants that come in the day. The giants that come in the night. Tonight you will conquer. Tonight you have conquered. By faith, Caleb. He had a different spirit. He had a different heart. When they said they cannot, he said, I can. Somebody there, I can. Somebody there, I can. I can do all things. Somebody there, I can. I can do all things. 
you go Christ that strengthens me by faith Abraham, Abraham. by faith Bartimaeus by faith Caleb by faith Virgin Mary look at what the angel said when God all things are possible and Mary said be it unto me according to thy word and when she met Elizabeth Elizabeth told her Blessed is she that believed for there shall be a performance of those things that are told him from the Lord. There's a performance in your life tonight. A performance of salvation. A performance of healing. A performance of deliverance. Do you remember the widow of Zarephat? Can you give me some water to drink? Elijah said. I want you to He said, I'm bringing most of bread in your hand. And the widow said, Man of God, prophet, I don't have anything like that. I'm cooking the last meal so that I eat and die. And the man of God said, You will not die. And the man of God tells you tonight, You will not die. And the man of God tells you tonight, It will multiply your cruise of oil and meal. He said, well, do it for me first. And he did it. She did it for him. And then that cross of oil did not fail. She went through all the time of famine. The young men and the young women. My, my, the, the prophet said, Behold my children. Young men and women, young boys and girls, young sons and daughters, there were signs and wonders in Israel. You are for signs and wonders. I said you are for signs and wonders. Now we come to Zerubbabel. And it's in Zechariah chapter 4. When looking in Zechariah chapter 4, and I'm reading here from verse 6. Zerubbabel. Zerubbabel. Look at this in chapter 4 verse 6 of Zechariah. It says, Then he answered and spake unto me, saying, this is the word of the Lord unto Zerubbabel. Not by power, not by might, but by my spirit, says the Lord. Who art thou, O great mountain? Before Zerubbabel, thou shalt become a plague. Your mountains are moving tonight. The wonders of faith. Abel. The wonders of faith. And all the other people we have talked about now, the wonders of faith will take every mountain away from your life. Point number three, before we begin to roll the mountains away. The regenerative faith of Zacchaeus. The story, I'm, I'm sure you have heard this before. It's in Luke chapter 19. And it is from verse 1 to verse 10. And you know the story. Jesus was passing through Jericho. Zacchaeus said, He will not pass me by. Tonight I will see him. Tonight I will touch him. Tonight I will behold him. Tonight, I'm going to get something from him. Somebody there. Are you there? I will get something. I said I will get something. The people are tired. I can't hear them. I can't see them. I can't see their hand. Something will happen to you. Look at the Zacchaeus I'm talking about. He was a sinner. He was a known sinner. He was a notorious sinner. He was a fraudulent sinner. Everybody knew. Don't worry what they know about you. Jesus will forgive you tonight. He sought the Lord. He honestly sought the Lord. He sought the Lord with determination. 
could not get to Jesus, he ran ahead and climbed up a sycamore tree. He was waiting there. I will see him. With all his concentration, he was looking in that direction. And eventually, Jesus came there. And Jesus looked at him. When he mentioned his name, he said, Zacchaeus, make haste. Stand down. But today, I must abide in your house. He was a rich man. But he knew that money could not buy peace of mind. Money could not buy pardon from God. Money could not buy purity of heart. Money could not buy a place in heaven. That's why he said, Jesus is the way. Jesus is the only one. He was criticized. He oh, was oh. called names. He was ridiculed. But nothing stopped him from getting saved. Nothing will stop you tonight. I said nothing will stop you tonight. And then he repented of his sin. He said, Jesus, I have been fraudulent. I have been stingy. I put my goods I give to the poor. If I've taken anything from any man by false accusation, I restore him fourfold. And Jesus said, this day to day, Jesus said, "Thou will compel the Lord." The salvation you. come to your house. He believed the Lord. He received the Savior. Christ went home with him. Jesus tell the Lord, "See, so that he could go home with Christ in heaven." He received Christ. Christ received him. He accepted Christ. Christ accepted him. And Christ went to Zacchaeus to Zacchaeus' house. So that Zacchaeus will go with Christ to his heavenly house. If you don't take him home, he will not take you home. If you don't have him in your heart, he will not take you to heaven. You take him home so he can take you to his own home. And he says, I go to prepare a place for you. If I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again. I receive you unto myself. So that where I am, there you will be also. Let him forgive your sin. Let him take your guilt away. Let him save your soul. Say, Jesus, here I am. I want you to be my savior. And then when life is ended, he will take you to heaven. The Lord is going to give you the chance right now. There are blessings today every, everybody will receive. Salvation is coming. Healing is coming. Deliverance is coming. Breaking of yoke is coming. Every blessing you need. That's why we look through all those people. By faith, by faith. Your own time has come. Your name now will come to the record. Your name will come into the record. It's bad and ice closed. Your time has come. I said your time has come. It's bad and ice closed. You want Jesus to be your savior tonight. Remember all I've seen that come short of the glory of God. Remember you need salvation. You need redemption. And you need forgiveness. And you need for Jesus to say your sins are forgiven. It's bad and eyes closed. Like Abel. You want that salvation, that redemption right now. Like Zacchaeus. You want that salvation, that redemption now. Wherever you are. You raise up your hand. Oh, no, okay. The Lord has seen you there. Oh, wonderful. Praise the Lord. Yo. This is your day of salvation. Raise up that hand. No, okay. Don't waste time. Raise up that hand. Rise up right there. 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 
on the sites over there on the sites over there you want that salvation right now you want that redemption right now and you want that forgiveness right now if you die in sin you will perish but life is coming today wherever you are you raise up your hand you stand up far away far away over there lift up that hand lift up that hand we're going to pray Father in the name of Jesus I pray for all those who have come to give their lives to Christ according to your promise that cannot fail set them free heal them right now and heal the sin sick soul in Jesus name forgive their sin change their lives give them your redemption give them your salvation let there be the witness of the spirit in their heart that their sins are forgiven their lives have been turned around the soul you have saved and you have cleansed them from all their sins and the names are rich in the book of life thank you Lord because I know you have answered in Jesus name I pray praise the Lord hallelujah be good hallelujah praise the Lord hallelujah hallelujah you want a miracle? You want healing? You want deliverance? You want signs and wonders? Whatever it is you want, you raise up one hand. You let the other hand where you have the challenge. I rejoice with you, it has come. Father, in Jesus' name, we thank you tonight and glorify your name. Faith that works. Face that never fails. Face that heals. Face that delivers. That faith Lord is here tonight. We believe in the name of Jesus. We believe in the authority of Jesus. We believe in the power of Jesus. Lord, we pray you touch everyone tonight in Jesus' name. That impossibility becomes possible right now. That spirit of death in your life, I cancel it in Jesus' name. That sickness will not kill you. That evil power will not kill you. That oppression will not kill you. I pray, come alive in Jesus' name. Lord, I pray every evil power, every evil spirit tormenting anyone I command all the legions of evil powers get out in Jesus name the spirit of oppression the spirit of premature death a spirit walking about in the body with all the afflictions I command you come out in Jesus name that sickness in your body that disease in your body that they call incurable disease tonight there's no incurable disease here. be healed in Jesus name that cancer I command you be healed in Jesus name tuberculosis you cannot stay there that cough I command you come out in Jesus name I'll be healed in Jesus name that I near be healed in Jesus name I'll there be healed in Jesus name
That's heart failure, heart problem. I command you be healed in Jesus' name. That's use your blood dry up right now in Jesus' name. Because upon your life, I break that curse. Now. That yoke, I break that yoke right now. And all the chains of the devil binding you, tying you up, I break the chains right you are used to set free in Jesus name every swelling in your body from the goiter to the ear and to the fibroid be healed in Jesus name don't receive your miracle those open right now in Jesus name don't speak out in Jesus name that time blindness I command you come out in Jesus name receive your bright sight right now and for those who have arthritis pain on the joints of your body and those who have limbless paralysis. And those who have stroke. I said for the power of Christ into your body. Rise up and walk in Jesus name. Everybody everywhere. Left, right and center. In the front and the back. The men and the women. Our old time members and newcomers. I said for power it's your life Power it's your body Power it's your family Power it's your business I pray that every yoke is broken in Jesus name Receive your healing Receive your deliverance Receive your miracle Father confirm it in every life I thank you because I know it's done Lord thank you I know it is done Father, thank you because I know it's done. In Jesus' name we pray. Praise the Lord you got it. I said, praise the Lord you got it. I said, praise the Lord you got it. Check it out. Your miracle is there. Check it out. Your miracle is there.